So let's go for a driving tour right now of Cedar Bray and Brayside. Two very similar communities with some unique differences between them. We'll go over the style of homes as you can find, the schools for the kids, services, shops, uh, that sort of thing, and uh, compare and contrast the two so that you can make your decision and recognize that it's still one of the best bang for your buck communities that you can find in Calgary for the price that you're gonna pay, but the home that you're gonna get out the back end. Let's go for a drive. So just south of Oak Ridge, we've got Cedar Bray. Um, it's a bit of a unique community to me because um, it gives you a little bit more, I don't even want to say entry level, but it gives you a little bit of a lower scale of home than, than Oak Ridge, but you've got a really good base for young families, very affordable, but still giving you the chance to have 12, 14, 1600 square foot homes, uh, develop basements. You can see some basement suites in the community. Uh, a lot of renovations have been done, so you've got some beautiful interiors, a very good mix of people throughout the community, uh, and not a lot of variation in terms of demographics and, uh, and incomes. It's all very, very, very similar. Cedar Bray's got a unique little position where it doesn't have a ton of services compared to some of the other communities. It piggybacks off of off of some of those. It's got a strip mall you can see in the background there with a pub and liquor store. Uh, actually a really, really good Mexican restaurant. But Cedar Bray is, is uh, you're gonna find a lot of bungalows, a lot of split level, uh, all very, very similar houses and at a very affordable price point. So you're you're gonna be a little bit more affordable than, than the homes in Oak Ridge. Um, little probably a little bit above some of the lower end of woodbine but you're gonna you're gonna fit right in there uh nestled between the two kids are gonna go to cedar bray elementary school or saint cyril on the separate side um but you're gonna piggyback off the surfaces so you're gonna use the co-op out of oak ridge or uh you know go to the boston pizza or or point public house out of oak ridge southland leisure center is not too far away but a really nice intimate community where uh, you don't need to worry about too much interference from things outside of the community. Really nestled in for a good inner city spot. So crossing 24th Ave into, into Brayside, we've got a similar community to Cedar Bray. Um, homes, are, homes are very similar, like you've got a lot of that bungalow uh, or top down, like the, the splits or, or even some bi-levels uh, in Cedar Bray. Um, you've got a lot of renovated ones, but it's still a really affordable price point for younger families and uh, those like that, that don't really want to be in the entry level, but aren't really looking for condos and apartments either. Um, kids are going to go to Brayside Elementary School. It has the Tim Hortons there right as you come off 24th. Uh, then also like you're just, just off Southland Drive, south of Southland Drive. So you're gonna get the the services of the 7-Eleven and Dairy Queen on Southland Drive, a Shell Station, and then you're right by the Southland Leisure Center that gives you a couple rinks, the wave pool, and uh, the sorted services that come with the Leisure Center, which I know is really, really appealing to a lot of families. So there you have it. That was Cedar Bray and Brayside, two similar but unique communities. As I said, two of my favorite communities for bang for your buck. You still get really, really good homes, but at a little bit less of a price point, which is perfect for younger families starting out. Um, if you're interested in a home in either of these communities, I'm gonna put links below uh, where you can see, one, the homes that are for sale in the communities, and then two, the sale prices of, or of homes that have sold in the communities over the last little bit. So you can get a feel for uh, what homes are going to be right for you in your price range and please my contact information is below if you have questions about any of these homes or would like to go see some of the new homes in these communities please feel free to reach out and until the next video take care